Bible prophecy reveals that the Middle East will determine not only the future of Europe, North Africa, and Asia, but the whole world. Today, American and coalition forces sacrifice thousands of lives in an attempt to bring order out of chaos in Iraq. Palestinians and Israelis fight for control of disputed West Bank territory, and other nations such as Iran and North Korea threaten to develop nuclear arsenals. Will the world ever see peace in the Middle East? Your future and the future of the world depend on the answer. What does your Bible reveal? What prophetic signs should you be watching for in the Middle East? Stay tuned. Warm greetings to all our friends around the world. The United States has spent billions of dollars on the Iraq war. Many of us are worry, express anger or concern when we read in our daily news about the deaths and casualties of American soldiers. Wars, conflicts and terrorism occur daily in many parts of the world. But my friends, there is good news for the future. The Bible predicts and in fact guarantees that world peace will ultimately reign on earth. Tomorrow's peaceful world is coming soon, but we must face the realities of the 21st century. Will the nation of Iraq ever establish democracy and find peace? Not only have insurgents killed more than 4,000 United States and coalition soldiers, but Sunni Muslims and Shiite Muslims continually battle one another to add to the chaos. Iran threatens to develop nuclear weapons to shift the balance of power to the east. My friends, we need to understand Bible prophecy in the future of the Middle East. On today's program, we'll briefly discuss five prophetic signs involving the Middle East. And we'll be offering you an exciting free booklet that will help you in your study of Bible prophecy. It's titled, The Middle East in Prophecy. This booklet will help you understand what the Bible teaches about the amazing end-time events surrounding Jerusalem and the Middle East. You can order this free booklet by calling the phone number on your screen or by visiting our website, tomorrowsworld.org. My friends, you need to know what Bible prophecy reveals for the Middle East. There are many prophetic signs you need to watch for. You need to be alert, because our Western world will be significantly affected by future events in the Middle East. Let's consider five prophetic signs to watch for. Number one, military alliances east of the Euphrates River. The Bible's prophecies concerning the Euphrates River are a biblical key that can help you understand the future in Israel and the Middle East. The Euphrates River runs from Turkey through Syria and Iraq to the Persian Gulf. The nation of Iran lies immediately to the east of Iraq. During the prophetic day of the Lord, an incredible army of 200 million moves westward across the Euphrates River into the Middle East. If you have your Bible, turn to the book of Revelation chapter 9. Revelation 8 describes the fifth trumpet plague during the day of the Lord. Then notice what happens. A powerful eastern army kills billions of people. The writer, the Apostle John, describes this as the sixth trumpet plague. Revelation 9, verse 13. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. Notice again where this takes place. A massive army from the east crosses the Euphrates River heading west. This army of 200 million drives west across the Euphrates River and destroys one third of the earth's population. Revelation 9 verse 15. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions. And out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. 
By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. My friends, this is describing world war. And this phase of World War III will kill world war. And this phase of World War III will kill billions of human beings. Yes, Jesus said that unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. All life on earth would be destroyed. That's in Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22. Now look on any map and you'll see those nations east of the Euphrates include Iran, India, China, and Russia. Be sure to watch their military developments and international relations. The Tribune newspaper based in Chandigarh in India gave this report, dateline Moscow, May 26th. Quote, India is to buy around 350 T-90S main battle tanks, MBT, from Russia under a deal to be inked in autumn this year, according to a top military official here. End of quote. My friends, watch the nations for their growing investments in military power, including nuclear weapons. Prophetic sign number one is military alliances east of the Euphrates River. Remember the Iran-Iraq War? It lasted from 1980 to 1988. More than one million persons were killed in that war. The Euphrates River was central to that conflict. Prophetic sign number two is greater unity among Israel's traditional enemies. The third Arab-Israeli war was called the Six-Day War of June 1967. Israel fought the combined forces of Egypt, Syria, and Jordan. Israel captured the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem. Now Israel had access to the holy places, including the Western Wall or Wailing Wall at the Temple Mount. Notice that Egypt, Syria, and Jordan combined forces in the Six-Day War. The Fourth Arab-Israeli War erupted seven years later. The Yom Kippur War began on the Day of Atonement, October 6, 1973. Israel repelled invasions by Egypt and Syria. Israel, Egypt, and Jordan later agreed on a UN ceasefire. Will these and other Arab nations unite to attack Israel once again? In June 2007, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas commented on the infighting between his Fatah organization and the Islamic militant Hamas. He stated, quote, Regarding our internal situation, what concerns us all is the chaos, and more specifically, being on the verge of civil war, end of quote. In Iraq, Sunni Muslims and Shiite Muslims are fighting one another. One is only to reflect on the Iran-Iraq war of the 1980s, to realize this ongoing conflict will not resolve itself soon. These conflicts may slow down Arab unity, but history has shown that these Middle Eastern Arab nations will join to fight against Israel. Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, has threatened to remove Israel from the region. On February 11, 2006, World Net Daily reported that Iran's president, quote, today echoed his earlier threats to wipe Israel off the map by telling a mass demonstration in Tehran commemorating the 27th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution that Palestinians and other nations will remove Israel from the region, adding a warning to the West that harsh measures against the nation's nuclear program would result in Iran walking away from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, end of quote. More than 40 years ago, the Israelis won the historic Six-Day War that began on June 5, 1967. They controlled the West Bank and all of Jerusalem. They were able to visit the Western Wall, the foundation wall of the Temple Mount, and to pray there. As we've pointed out, there have been at least five major Arab-Israeli wars. According to Bible prophecy, a future king of the South will unite several Arab nations. You can read about that king in Daniel, the 11th chapter. That king of the south will attack the king of the north, which will result in powerful retaliation. We'll discuss this prophetic development in the conclusion of our program. Prophetic sign number two is greater unity among Israel's enemies. Prophetic sign number three.